Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing guys how to build my fold away floor. So we click this lever right here. Our floor opens up and we can go down it. Do, 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 do. And then of course we can go back up. Now you don't have to use it for stairs. You can also use it for lava and you can also hook up a button to it as well. I just decided to keep a lever to it to keep it nice and simple for the tutorial. However, I will show you the input so you can hook up a button to it. So here's a more open view, view of it right here. This right here is the closing circuit. This right here is the opening circuit. And this is the pulse extender for our stairs. And right here's our input. So we just click the lever go and then we click the lever again and it folds back over it so let's just start building this thing guys all right guys so we're only going to be building half of it since it's technically mirrored on both sides so for this build we're going to need a 10 by 4 five spacing we're also gonna have to dig down three now this is only for the double piston extension to actually close the door we're going to need a few more spacing so just make sure you have enough room to dig down four guys so that's for the stairs so if you're not doing the stairs then you don't have to worry about that but if you are going to do the whole stair thing then you are going to need to have enough room to dig down four so for this build actually we're going to use our orange wool first so for this build we're going to need 22 sticky pistons 22 redstone repeaters a handful of redstone dust four redstone torches a lever just to make sure it works now this is is just for one side if you're gonna double up double up both sides and you're gonna have to double everything here except for the repeaters you need a few less repeaters than that we're also going to need eight stone slabs six immovable objects such as furnaces chests cauldrons just things that can't be moved by pistons for my blocks of choice I'm gonna be using sandstone for my flooring and quartz for my walling and then we're also gonna need you know some stairs and all that good stuff so once you've gotten your 10 by 5 spacing and you dug down your three I want you to come to the bottom left hand side take out your sticky pistons and I want you to count over six blocks with sticky pistons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Then I want you to take out your floor block and put your floor blocks all along the tops of your sticky pistons. Then we're gonna swing onto the inside of our sticky pistons and we're gonna be doing our closing circuit first. So our closing circuit's gonna be orange wool. So we're gonna come out a block right next to our sticky pistons, put repeaters going into our floor block right above the sticky pistons, and then come out one more row with dust on top of it. Then over here to the left, I want you to come up two blocks, one block to the left, and then put a repeater going into this block, set it to two ticks delay, but delete this block under here because if you're doing the stairs, you're going to need this spacing right here for that pulse extender towards the end. Next, what we're going to do is actually do our double piston extender. So right above this dust facing our floor block, just put double piston extenders like this. And then put a set of floor blocks in front of those ones as well. And actually, let me get rid of this now. We don't need that there. Then I want you to take out your wall block and then put your wall block right above this. I like to go up above two, at least two, but I mean, for now, you can go up one if you really want to. And then on the inside, right above the first set of sticky pistons, we're going to put slabs upside down off our wall block. That's why I want you to put your wall block in there because it makes it a lot easier to get those slabs in. Next, we're going to put dust all on the tops of our slabs. And then we're going to come out one more to the left side of it with dust. And then we're going to go up a block and then we're going to come out one to, to the back side of our creation and put a repeater going into this block set it to one tick delay put a block behind that then we're going to take out a slab and put a slab upside down next to this block and we can actually delete this block it's not needed then put dust right here then put a block up right next to your dust like that put a torch coming off the side of it and then right off the torch we're going to put a sticky piston facing towards this block right here so just go like this boop, like that Next, what we're gonna do is actually we can delete this block right here. And then right underneath the block that has the torch under on it, we're gonna come on down two blocks. So one, two, delete this block, put dust right on top of it. Come out a block to the left side towards our sticky piston. Put a repeater going in out of this dust set to two ticks delay. And put a block in front of it right underneath your sticky piston. And this will create a monostable circuit that keeps its pulse, which I really like that. That's like the whole thing. This, this is pretty much like the whole thing for this thing. <laughs> Next, what we're going to do is actually just hook up this dust right here to this repeater. So actually, let me give you a better view. So the dust right underneath the block that has a torch on, we're going to just bring that dust to over here. So all I do is just go up a block behind our two tick delay repeater, bring it over one block, and then just hook it together like that. And that should be our whole closing sequence. So if we put our lever right on top of this block and we flip it down, it should close it. There we go. 
and then if we flip it up, it should open it halfway, I guess. <laughs> so now let's do our opening sequence. Why do the, all these animals keep spawning in? Eh, whatever, I'm just gonna leave them there. I, I was gonna kill them, but one, whatever. <laughs> so now let's do our opening sequence. Our opening sequence is gonna be lime wool. So what we're gonna do is come out a block towards the right of our lever, put some dust here, put a torch coming off that block. Then what I like to do is just come over a block from our torch and then down a block delete this block then coming out of our torch we're going to put a repeater set it to four ticks delay with a sticky piston in front of it facing upwards with a block on top of it this will create a falling edge monostable circuit then we're going to put blocks right next to these sticky pistons back here and put dust all along them and that chicken is deadly close to this build uh, whatever <laughs> then we're going to come out a block one more to the right of our falling edge and we're going to put a repeater on four ticks delay then we're going to put a block in front of it and then block down delete this block put dust on top of it then coming out of the block with the dust on it we're going to come down one more towards our botting <laughs> yeah our botting that's a fake word i just made up our bottom pistons right here i'm going to put a repeater going into this dust set to one tick delay like that and i heard that chicken i'm sorry guys let me kill this chicken real quick you gotta go man i'm sorry you gotta go i don't know how you got out but you gotta go <laughs> so let's get back to uh, actually building stuff so then we're gonna come over one more block from where our four tick was i'm gonna put another four tick coming out of this block with a block in front of it and then we're gonna do it one more time come down a block put a repeater into four ticks delay with a block in front of it this is just a nice little pulse extension we need for these back pistons right here then off the second four tick delay repeater right here right on top of this block we're going to put dust and it's going to connect into this dust which we do not want so we're just going to put a block right above it to disconnect it then we're going to come one more block down and put a repeater coming out of this block set to four ticks delay then right over here where our one tick delay repeater is we're going to come over a block so we'll put a block here and then come over a block and then put dust going into this block as well and that should be our whole entire opening circuit so actually before we do it before we do it, take out your movable objects. Like I said, I'm using furnaces. So just take your furnaces or whatever you're using and just put a row of them right above wherever you have a sticky piston down here. So you just need them, guys. You need these movable objects. You can use, you can use obsidian, you can use chests, you can use cauldrons, furnaces, whatever you want. Or you can bring it up 12 blocks. If you go up 12 blocks, then it won't be able to move it. So next what we're gonna do is just flick down this lever. It closes, flick it up, and it opens up. There you guys go. So closes and open up so now if you don't want to do the stairs and you're going to put lava under there and just kill people with it then you are done but however now we're going to start doing our stairs so i'm going to take out some blue wool for our stairs and our actual stairs where's the sun okay the sun's going down pretty quick so let's do this fast so delete your lever come a block up from where your lever was put a repeater going into the block set it to one tick the leg come a block out from there with dust on top of it then i want you to come two blocks down from where our block with the dust is delete the middle block put a torch here then we're gonna it's gonna activate a few things don't worry about that then we're gonna come down a block and over a block and i heard another chicken i heard it where is it all right never mind <laughs> put a repeater going into the block with the torch on it on two ticks to light then actually we're going to take out our input block which is red and we're going to bring that down three blocks one two three put dust all along that so now this is our new input so let me just put any block anything that goes to this dust will activate it so i'm just going to put a block right above it with a lever like that for now so let's take out our blue wool again so right here where we came out the three blocks we're going to put a torch here and then we're going to just bring a line of blocks all the way down to right here and put dust all along them so one two three four then right here where we're uh actually let's uh turn it off we're gonna turn it off for now make sure it's opened up for now so everything should be off over here so right here down here where i said delete this block because we're gonna need it we're gonna put dust here put a block right next to the dust then right next to this sticky piston coming out of this block we're gonna put a repeater on four ticks delay then coming out of the block that has the two tick delay repeater on it right here we're gonna put a repeater on four ticks delay four ticks delay put a block in front of it a block down from it put another repeater right here on four ticks delay put a block in front of it then put two repeaters going this way on four ticks delay now this will just create a pulse extension for the stairs so they stay closed for longer while it's opening up because if it doesn't then it's going to push the blocks up and ruin the entire thing then right here we're just going to literally come out two blocks right here and put two torches like this this is why you need to dig down four right here is the only reason why you have to dig down four and then you're going to put two sticky pistons facing upwards with stairs on top of them like that and you are completely done guys so now if we click this lever our stairs go down and that folds over and closes then if we click the lever again it opens up the pulse extension leaves it open 
leaves it activated for long enough for the stairs to stay down and then push back up so now if you want to make it uh four wide like over there literally all you have to do is just do the same thing mirrored on this side so that's how you build my fold away floor if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys and actually let's uh make it look a little nice we can put some stairs right here like that you know make it look real nice <laughs> hey you go there all right like that there we go and of course like i said i forgot to like i said you can bring this up more so people can't see your movable objects but just make sure you got those movable objects in there guys if you don't then it's not going to work so i can like put it all the way up here and put my furnaces up there okay now so like i said if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys doo, doo, doo. peace